This is a Thorn Pilot T1 about to warm up. The Pilot is a bit of a difficult lantern for me. On the one hand, it's simple to wire up, works like a treat, and that's all you can ask for from a lantern, right? They're also one of my favourite lookers. In fact, there's a road full of these near me. The T2 version, I believe. Well, the pilot's build quality isn't the greatest work Thorns produced. This is a shame, considering I really do like most of their products. The canopy is extremely flimsy, and somewhat difficult to open and close. The bowl means the canopy can't open fully unless you open the bowl up, though this problem isn't present on the flat bowl versions. Onto the bowl, the lantern has literally the worst hinges and clips known to me. The hinges are plastic and have two parts, and often fall out when the bowl is open. It could be a nightmare to get them back into place. Though the lantern is designed to be maintained on column, so the hinges are a bit easier to work with when the lantern is positioned upright with the bowl overhanging a surface. This is also why the pilot's gear tray is held in place by one screw. As these were designed and made in Europe, there is no earth wire system inside, so I rigged one up just to be safe when powering it up for the first time. I've been calling the gear tray a tray, though it's more like a gear area. The gear is all on this large piece of metalwork. The ballast is a Thorn SHP 70 AE slash AI, and operates at a frequency of 50 Hz. To give Thorn props, it's in amazing condition, and just needs new wire connectors. The igniter is a Thorn G53498, it too is in great condition, something I wasn't expecting given the low rated IP23 compartment. Its solids rating of 2 means there was a lot of debris and insects inside. Dating back to the first week of February 1992, there's no doubt that it has stood the test of time. It doesn't appear to have had any repairs to it made over the years, other than a new lamp of course. Overall, the Pilot is a great looking lantern and operates well. It's just a shame that Thorn cuts so many corners when making this thing. They really didn't need to. This is in great contrast to the Vectra, which the next video will be on, so stay tuned.